Genius. Look, genius. Genius. Bella Hadid has been a little quiet lately aside from some rumors she was feuding with Selena Gomez. Nothing was really confirmed with that though, but we do know the girls share an ex-boyfriend, hip hop artist The Weeknd. In fact, Bella and The Weeknd have been on and off quite a few times so it's been pretty hard to keep up, at least for me. As far as I know, they're off at the moment and they called it quits again around the time The Weeknd started sporting that stash. But Bella was living with him in NYC so I wonder how that's all going down. Bella is best known for being a famous model and having a really fit figure that almost makes her look superhuman. At the time of this recording, she's only 23 years old and has 26.7 million followers on Instagram. She was introduced to Hollywood when she was featured on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, so I guess that makes her a reality star too. Her parents are the well-known Mohammed and Yolanda Hadid, and Bella and her siblings were on the show because her father is one extremely rich and successful real estate developer. Considering what he's known for, of course Mr. Hadid had to go above and beyond to design the family home. If you thought you knew how wealthy Bella and her family is, think again. Wait until you see this home she grew up in. I would have to say it's more of a palace than a house. So Bella has been living in luxury since the beginning. Just the master suite in her childhood home was apparently double the size of the average American's house. But of course at her age she also had to break out on her own and moved out some years ago. They say Bella's net worth is around 25 million already and I'm not surprised. So it's no doubt she has called some beautiful places home so far. Look around me, what a dream this is anyways. I think that I'm absolutely living my dream. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna look at Bella's living situation, both the mansion she grew up in and where she lives now in New York City. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Selena Gomez and Justin and Hailey Bieber and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Go follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who's home to do next in the comments down below. Now let's get into this video. We'll start with the palace that Bella grew up in, the Hadid family home. Like I mentioned, this home was designed by her dad Mohammed Hadid and he definitely didn't want to skimp out on his vision for the fam. Bella lived here throughout her childhood and although her parents divorced some years back, of course she would still stay here while visiting her dad. And we know Bella and her pops are close. This mega mansion was located in Beverly Hills of course which you may be familiar with from Real Housewives. It's 35,000 square feet, has 6 bedrooms and sits on 2.2 acres of land. The vibe in this place was definitely royal which is obvious from the pictures. There was a massive dining room fit for a king with multiple chandeliers hanging overhead, a Parisian style sitting room and plenty of other places to relax. You can see the spacious kitchen which had two attached family rooms so you could have your pick. Following the palace theme of course, Bella's family home included a grand ballroom for 200 people. The bedrooms were upstairs and of course Bella and her siblings each had their own space. None of the rooms compared to dad's bedroom though. The master suite was 5,000 square feet and his walk-in closet had room for a thousand pairs of shoes. Moving to the basement or lowest level where the ballroom was, there was also a walk-in wine cellar, card room and a movie theater that fit 60 guests. Not to mention Bella's dad had a favorite room, the Moroccan style room. It was a hidden space and apparently everything was sent straight from Morocco to be assembled there. Inside the Moroccan room they also built an underground Turkish bath and a wall that slides away to a soundproof bedroom. Outside the home there was an infinity pool that overlooked Beverly Hills and had plenty of space to tan. The property also had a swan filled pond and gorgeous gardens all over. But I wonder what happened to the swans and the rest of the place because recently Bella's family home was starting to get demolished. Oh no. Although it was featured on the secret lives of the super rich, Mr. Hadid hasn't been living as lavish recently. The Hadid's neighbors basically sued some time ago because apparently the third floor and pool deck at this massive property was unstable and illegally built, and a judge agreed. Guilty or not guilty? What do you say? Guilty. Last year the Hadid estate was sold for 56 million which was much lower than the original asking price of 85 mil. Serious? I'm not sure exactly what the plans are for the property Bella spent her childhood at, but I do know her dad moved to a more modest home. Mr. Hadid's new house is still in Beverly Hills, but it's under 5,000 square feet, so technically the whole home is smaller than his old master bedroom. He seems happy though. 
Who needs that much space anyways? But enough about Bella's family home. Now we'll look at where she's been living since she moved to NYC, which was a while back. I have an incredible candle section in my room. Of course, Bella lived in her own apartment when she first moved to the Big Apple and it looked like it was enough for just her. Also, real estate in NYC is extremely expensive and even for a small space you're looking at spending a lot. Even in Brooklyn, homes are usually listed at over a million these days. Oh no! Bella had an apartment in the East Village area of New York City when she was 20 years old and even a one-bedroom apartment in her building would cost around one million or more. At the time, Bella called her place her humble little apartment. Fast forward a little and last year Bella moved in with her then boyfriend the weekend. She definitely said goodbye to humble apartment living if she hadn't already, because the place they shared was insane. Oh my god, I have stalkers. The condo the couple was renting for a while was in the Tribeca neighborhood. Apparently rent for this condo was about 60k a month. Bella's apartment with the weekend was 5,000 square feet and had 4 beds, 4 baths and a powder room which spanned over 3 levels. There was also a 1,000 square feet of outdoor space which was in the form of a big private terrace. There was even an elevator inside the apartment that brought you up to the foyer. The ceilings were double height and all of the rooms were spacious. The master bedroom had more than one walk-in closet and obviously an ensuite bathroom. Bella's penthouse was located in what they called a paparazzi-proof building, so I guess that was a bonus for the couple. Bella wasn't the only celeb who lived here either. Some famous neighbors in the building were Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds, Harry Styles, Jennifer Lawrence, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. I'm sure the couple enjoyed their time in this fancy New York condo, but I guess with the breakup, Bella has been looking for a new place to call home. I feel like I've done the best I can. Also, would you guys want to see a house tour of the weekend's homes? Let me know in the comments. Bella has been spotted house hunting pretty recently, and by the looks of it, she has no intention of leaving New York. I'm really happy in my life right now. <laughs> Bella looked at a half-floor condo unit in a new building that's located in the Nolita area of the city and it's listed for just under 6 mil. It's a modern concrete and glass style condo designed by Japanese architect Tadeo Ando and there are only 7 apartments in the whole building, 5 of which are already taken. The one Bella seems to be interested in is just over 2,000 square feet and has 2 beds and 2.5 baths. Sounds like it has the potential to be the perfect bachelorette pad for the newly single Bella. And if she decides to get back together with The weekend again, she'll still be close enough to the area they used to live in NYC. So now we've seen Bella's childhood dream home she grew up in, which her dad Mohammed Hadid made into a palace, as well as the condo she's lived in since moving to New York City. Although Bella and her man The weekend apparently called it quits once again, who knows if they'll get back together. They did share a pretty epic penthouse together though, so if Bella does get a new place in the city, I wonder if it'll be half as nice. <laughs> <laughs> you can have All it, right. please take it. All we know is that Bella has been looking for a new spot to live, but aside from what I mentioned, we don't know much else about the potential places. I'm sure with her net worth of over 20 mil, Bella will be able to afford another gorgeous place in the overly expensive city of New York. Which one of Bella's homes did you like best? I would usually choose the Beverly Hills Mansion, but I think that the Hadid house was a little too over the top, even for me. Okay guys, now I'll be reading out some comments from past videos. On our Ariana Grande before and after video from a while back, Seo Young commented saying, I don't know if she got plastic surgery, but she ruined herself anyways. She was much more beautiful before, and she even looked older than now. Nowadays, she looks like a completely different person. I still think Ariana is drop dead gorgeous, but I agree that she was pretty before and looks like a completely different person. I don't think she should get any more work done, she definitely doesn't need it. On our Britney Atwood before and after vid, China Lokita said, I love Roman Atwood and family. And she said she doesn't like the Ace fam no more. I also have to admit that I like the Atwoods better. They just seem more relatable and they're super cute. I also got some comments requesting a Tyler Perry house tour and a Lady Gaga one, so let me know if those are some houses you'd like to see. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Bella Hadid's homes. Which one of Bella's homes was your fave? And what did you think about that crazy Hadid palace? Be sure to let me know in the comments and let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. If Bella's sister Gigi Hadid's house would be a good one, let me know too. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye!